Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate Jira with Confluence. This tutorial will totally focus on the Jira Cloud and Confluence Cloud integration. I'll cover a separate video for Jira Server and Confluence Server integration later. So before we proceed into the actual content, the first thing we need to understand is why do you want to integrate Jira with Confluence and what benefits can integrating Jira and Confluence together bring in to your projects and to your organization so if you see on the slide here so Jira usually is a tool for agile project management where you will have your projects and projects will have issues right so if you are using Jira for the software development you will have the software Jira software if you're using it for any other department like HR etc they'll still have projects and issues within the project now confluence is a content management or the collaboration tool wherein the teams store the documentation for the generic overall for the organization or they can store the documentation for specific projects so when we have the projects in jira and the project documentation in confluence it makes a lot more sense to integrate both and get the value or the best value out of both tools if you are having a documentation in a separate tool and there is no linkage available between the jira project and the other tool which contains the documentation it's a big delay in sort of getting to the point where you get those documentation for that particular project but if there is an integration if there is a linkage between the jira projects and the space associated space with that particular project then it makes a lot more easier for the people within the project to navigate to the space of the project right so if you see here say for example i have a project in jira project a that will have a corresponding space in confluence and that's how usually the teams work so you will have a, you will have a project and all the project documentation usually if you're using confluence you will store it in a space that is corresponding to that particular project project b will have the space corresponding to that particular project and all the documentation for the project b goes into the space b and spaces will have these pages which is basically the documentation now when you link these or when you integrate Jira and Confluence it becomes a lot more easier for the teams whether they are in the Confluence or in the Jira they can easily have a look at the documentation if they are in the in Jira or create the issues from directly from the Confluence in Jira so there are a lot many benefits but this is the first video of this particular topic so I thought I'll explain why you need to integrate with the Jira, Jira and Confluence and then we'll understand the steps to integrate Jira with Confluence so if you move to the next slide you will see that there are a couple of steps that you need to follow and it will be a bit lengthy tutorial so I'll divide it into two so first one will be more of an introduction and then second I'll do a demo how you can actually go ahead and integrate Jira with Confluence so the first one is basically to create the project the first step then create a Confluence space so whenever your team is onboarded or the team is working they'll have their own project in Jira right once the project is created where will they go and create the documentation so you'll have the Confluence if you have the Confluence they'll go and create a space in the confluence for that particular project so that's what the initial step is when a team is onboarded third is configuring the linkage between the confluence space and jira project which is very important otherwise you won't be getting the benefits of both the tools together okay so third step we'll do is configuring the linkage between confluence and jira project then we'll configure the sidebar link in the confluence so that you can access the Jira project details right away from the Confluence. There is a linkage available and then same linkage or the sidebar link available configured in the Jira project so that you can access the Confluence space. So we'll, we'll uh, cover this exercise in the next tutorial. So that's all for this tutorial or the part one of the integrating Jira with Confluence. In the next one, we'll understand the steps to integrate Jira with Confluence. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.